what it do, YouTube? It's me. Can't stop a money. And we are back. You know it, it's like the hyperbolic reaction chamber. And this is another reaction to the epic, amazing, heartfelt, emotional ride roller coaster of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yes, guys, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 20. We're 20 episodes in already. Wow, it feels like, what, how long has it been? Two weeks? About two weeks ago? Yeah, probably about two weeks ago since we first started. And it's, it's, this, this has become cocaine. <laughs> this has become crack. Gotta have another episode. Gotta watch another episode. Uh, guys, where we last left off yesterday, the epic, so epic, probably the best episode I've watched so far of this, man. We saw the death of lust by the hands of the man. No, scratch that. The goat. Mustang. <laughs> yes, guys, my boy Mustang. One of one down, envy, gluten, and whatever, whatever his name is. Bradley and company and and more to more more to go. Wow. I don't know what to expect. Then at the end of episode 19, we see Edward and his dad, Hohenheim. Wow. I don't know. Ah. I don't know what to expect. So let's get into this, guys. Also, if you get, just, just so y'all know again, uh, the uncut version to this episode of episode 20 will be in the description below to my Vidme channel to where you can watch the whole episode of episode 20 in its entirety, if you guys would like that. Also, um, you guys can see the too. I will have some Sonic Forces gameplay coming later on today, so I hope y'all can enjoy that too if you guys are Sonic fans. So without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner this is full metal alchemist brotherhood episode 20 right now episode 20 episode 20 Let's go, I'm pumped! I'm so pumped! Hello, Edward. You appear to have grown so. Michael Crispo. I spoke with Panako. You tried human transmutation. Oh, he knows. It makes you think you can show up like this. There's nothing left for you here anymore. I noticed. Tell me, Edward. What possessed you to burn down my home? Oh, Edward, man. We to never turn back. We did it as a symbol of our resolve. No, you didn't. You were hiding the memory. You didn't want to be reminded of what you've done and thought you could erase the memory by destroying the evidence. You're wrong! It's just like a child who hides the sheets after he wets the bed. You ran away. And you know it. Oh, man. I feel like it's kind of both. You don't know a damn thing! You make me sick to my stomach. He's exactly like I was when I was his age. At least that's a plus, I guess. Man, ah, even the dog feels some type of way. You haven't changed in the slightest all these years, and you look exactly the same. <laughs> Where have you been all this time? Why didn't you come back sooner? Man, love Trisha to drink. Was waiting for you until the very end. Pinaco. The life form my son's transmuted. Are you positive that it was Trisha? Huh? Well, I wouldn't. It didn't even look human to me. 
so I wouldn't think of it. They try it. That's not what I'm asking. Did you notice the eye color or the hair color? What are you trying to get at? Are you telling me that that wasn't even Trisha? For all that those boys sacrificed, you're saying that thing they created wasn't even their mother? What? What? You don't sleep or eat? You don't even run out of breath? Uh -huh. So he gave up. Have to make sure the seal doesn't get harmed. That's so cool. So you really are immortal then, huh? He no, gave up an arm and a leg and that for that? This body? It's like a time bomb. Barry mentioned something, and it made me realize that any type of body is incompatible with a foreign soul. Pairing them together, the body will eventually reject it. It could happen tomorrow, or ten years from now, but it's inevitable that it will. Oh no! Al, we've got to get you back in your regular body! Well, oh man, hold on. You're on a time schedule. give out on you. Couldn't you just transfer your soul into some other object? Because if that's the case, then for the time being, well, you're impervious to pain and you don't have to eat. It sounds like a great deal to me. No, it isn't! You oh, know no. what you're talking about! Sorry. I'm still caught Sorry. on earlier, guys. Just tell me you're going to get your body back. I feel for Alphonse each and every episode, man. Can't sleep. Can't eat. My brother's body back. He's the only family I have. I won't let you take it. Take it? Do you even know what you're saying? You're the one who tossed his body aside and put him in that armor. Aren't you, Alchemist? It's true. You and I are exactly the same. Oh. Except it, Edward. I don't want to see that again. That's going to remind me. Why did you leave me here like this? Ed, get out of bed already. Your father's about to head out. <laughs> that's so, oh, that's so hell. Don't mind if I keep it. It's the only photo we had taken with all four of us. Of course, you're welcome to it. Thank you. I need to tell you something important, Panako. Huh? Something terrible is going to happen in this country soon. You should escape while you can. Yeah. This country's lousy with terrible things. And I can't leave. I've got other people who need me here in case they want to come home. Oh. I've given you my warning. How does he know? Hey, Hohenheim, wait! Try not to be such a stranger, all right? I wish I could, Panako. It's too bad I won't get to enjoy your cooking anymore. I thought so. You're not really gonna dig it up, are you, Ed? <coughs> Why don't we go back? Oh, my stumps are aching from the weather. It's about to rain. Let's just hurry and do this. Dig, wait, dig what up? Oh my god. Let's head on home. No. I'm not gonna be able to move forward until I know for sure. Besides, no. oh my ran away. I won't run away from this. Oh, I can't oh don't tell me he's digging up that old whatever that is. Oh. <laughs> this right here is getting. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Okay, I thought he was throwing up because of, of what he found. He throwing up because of the, you know, the weather. Light chestnut color. <laughs> this is black. This femur, it's much too long. And this pelvis, pretty sure it's male. It is? Oh. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid this isn't your mother, Ed. Oh my goodness. All that for nothing. Oh, that hurts. That gotta hurt. Oh my god, that hurts so much. <laughs> and that's it. It really is impossible to bring the dead back to life. The undeniable truth. <laughs> it was impossible all along. <laughs> Edward, now listen to me. You've got to get a hold of yourself. I'm okay, Granny. It's okay. From the moment I made this thing, it's been the symbol of my despair. But not anymore. Now it's an emblem of hope. Al can be returned to normal. Uh, yeah. I need to ask you something, teacher. But, well... Well, what? Spit it out. It has to do with tried to transmute your baby. What about it, Ed? The thing is, what Al and I transmuted, it wasn't actually our mother. What is this, Ed? What are you trying to tell me? I'm sorry to ask you this, but the child you transmuted? Are you sure that it was your child that you brought back? <laughs> Oh, the guys are actually on my skin to chills. Of course he didn't. And I didn't... Ah! What's wrong with me? I can't believe I forgot to give him the message. A message? Yes. A last request. From your mother. I'll be gone when he returns. Can you tell him something? <laughs> I need him to know. I couldn't keep my promise. I died before he did, and I'm so sorry. That part's not fun. It's the fact that she forgot. You got me. Sorry to ask, but could you pass it on if you bump into him? Why should I have to? I know it doesn't seem like it, but he does care about you and your brother. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass it on right after I clock him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Al's probably mad at me. <laughs> I'm gonna have plenty of explaining. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> what the hell did you just beat up? <laughs> hey, you. What the hell are you doing here? Eating a delicious dinner? <laughs> Seriously, how did this happen to you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Bury the chopper, and just to throw a cherry on top, you find out your body might reject your soul. I'm gonna have to extend what little you have left of your armor. Nice. Gets me every time. Ed, he'll be able to get his body back, right? Yeah, of course he will. I told you I'm going to get it back. I got to see how. Al, I've got to tell you something. I dug up the body that we transmuted in Resinbull. <gasps> what? Why would you do that? Because, Al, I 
found out that the thing we buried wasn't really our mother. But, hold on a minute. Then that means... The thing we made? I don't know what, but it was something completely different. But if it wasn't, then what happened to me? That's just it. This has actually convinced me we can return you to normal. Ed, are you sure? Yeah. But before I start explaining how... Well, uh, Winry, do, um, uh, do you remember when Al and I got in a fight when we were kids about who'd marry you? Huh? <laughs> oh. The fight we were talking about on the roof? Yeah, that one. Al told me you turned him down. Mm-hmm. Turned you both down. What oh, happened? did I? So the question's for both of you, then. What was your reasoning? She said... I, I just, just don't, don't like men who are shorter, shorter than me. Yeah, this has anything to do with oh. his body back. That's not just she's sure. not the only Al one. I had a memory of something I don't recall. And you seem to clearly remember it the same way, Winry, which means that it happened without a doubt. So now that we know you remembered something real, then we also know for a fact that really is Al bonded in there. I pulled you out. Al. Right. I actually did it. I know it was only your soul, but that's just it. If I was able to pull that much of you out, then I've got a hunch that your body's still in there, and I can pull it out. You think my body's still in the portal? Existing separately from my soul? <gasps> like Barry's body! Right! What? what did you see? Try to think back. Can you remember what happened when the truth unraveled you? <laughs> oh, discovery! <laughs> My hand I grabbed. I knew it. Doesn't look like we're done with the truth yet, Al. We're gonna get in there and pull your body out. Brother, after the portal, I remember looking at you from inside that thing. The thing we thought was Mom. Oh. Uh. You were inside of it? That thing was you? I guess so. But my soul didn't bind. It must have rejected me right away. So that means... We didn't harm anyone else's soul after all. I did some research. Sig and I looked up our family lines. And well... The child that I transmuted, it couldn't... It didn't have a single physical trait that could have come from us. You're onto something, aren't you? Yes. I've come to the conclusion that death is permanent. So not even transmutation can change that fact. All this time, I thought that I must have missed something, but it was impossible to do in the first place. No. Ed. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. Al? This entire time, I've been blaming myself for what happened. I thought it was me. I thought I was the one who killed Mom a second time. And so did I, Al. Thanks, brother. Thank you. I wasn't the one who killed Mom after all. <sighs> this episode, man. You me. I feel like I've been brought back to life. Our child wasn't made to suffer twice because of me. Still, none of this changes the fact that I'm the one who put you in that body. And I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna make you normal again. Brother, I was right there with you, and I knew that there were risks. So quit trying to shoulder all of this on your own. I can't watch you suffer like this. Not on your own. I can't just stand back and watch other people get hurt over what I've done. Like what happened to Mr. Hughes. Now that I felt like was... it was my fault when I found out he was dead. And I told myself that if it meant other people getting hurt, then I don't even want my body back. <laughs> Brother, I've met other people who weren't exactly human, but they still managed to live their lives with a purpose. And even in this body, it hasn't stopped other people from treating me like I'm still human. This body oh, the chills! Time, 
But it's the same with being human. You never know when you might get sick or die in an accident. So I can still get by like this. I can live a somewhat normal life. And that's how I've managed to keep going. But now, I can't take it anymore. Because I can't. I can't take all the nights by myself. It's too lonely, and that's why I have to get back to normal. Sure, and you're going to. We'll knock that truth jerk on his butt, and then we're gonna pull your body right out of that place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so awesome. Shoulders always been so broad. Found himself. That's what I'm talking about. Holy shit! What oh, got me so hyped? Wow, guys, the sense of discovery. Wow. Okay. At this episode, flipped me from sad, from neutral to sad to. Hype to to happy, it's just all in one episode. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know that that might uh, that that I, I know that can't just be me, but uh yeah, it's like not saying that they've been re it not it feels like they've been reborn or they found a new purpose or they found that it's possible. It is possible. Wow. Okay. I'm excited. I cannot wait. I oh I I just really hope Alphonse get his body back, man. Oh man, that's just that's crazy. Holy crap. So much in this episode going on, guys. I loved it. And this then this episode, man. I loved it, guys. Oh my god. What y'all thought about that? Man. Mm, I can't wait to uh, see I just can't wait to see what else happens, guys. So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this with me. Thank you all so much that subscribe. We are on this journey. Oh, my God. I can't, I'm so happy I hopped on a full minute out from this brotherhood first before anything. Whew! <laughs> guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll be sure to see you all in my next video. Sayonara.